counterfoot retaining wall this is also similar to the cantilever retaining wall normally said as retaining wall when it is provided and what's the need to provide this when we need to design retaining wall for the more height the moments become very high for stem toe and heel which leads to the requirement of more thickness to reduce the quantity of concrete as well as steel we provide counterforts at toe and heel so now let's begin with the steps what are the steps in the design first we need to calculate the forces we need to do the stability check base pressure calculation then we need to calculate bending moment and shear force for the toe counterfoot design and the heel counterfoot design and then we need to design what are the elements we need to design is bottom slab at heel bottom slab at toe the stem between the two counterforts and the design of hanging reinforcement so the first three steps are similar to the retaining wall design which we have discussed in the previous video so here we will go through these steps quickly calculation of forces earth pressure live load surcharge and the crash barrier which are the overturning forces and the resisting forces because of the self weight stability check is the check for sliding overturning and the base pressure here here you can have a picture clear picture of the counterfort retaining wall how it looks like it looks like this here you can see the tops toe slab this is the heel slab these are the heel counterforts this is the stem coefficient of earth pressure calculation as here we are seeing it for 6.5 meter height and other dimensions are variable as we have already discussed so we will be calculating these dimensions as per the stability check now we will be going through these earth coefficient of earth pressure this is the same now calculation of the force resisting force resisting force is because of the self weight abutment stem bottom slab self weight of the soil because of this the resisting force moment Uh, about x overturning forces are the because of the earth pressure and the live load surcharge which is coming out to be 175 is the force and the moment because of that is 527 so now we will be checking the stability stability check for the sliding sliding is vertical load is 548.8 horizontal load is 175.4 so this is coming out to be 1.564 which is greater than 1.5 overturning moment here you see 527 and the resisting moment is 2079.7 so this is 3.9 which is greater than 2 so it is safe for both check for the base pressure vertical load is 548 resisting moment resultant moment is subtraction of these two which is 1552.3 resultant moment which acts at a distance d from the x and the eccentricity b by 2 minus x from the center of the bottom slab so the moment is coming out to be 39.3 load is so we will be calculating the pressure by p by a plus minus m by z here the pressure is coming out to be 101.62 and 87.62 this is the base pressure diagram here the heel is of 3.5 meter th and uh, the toe of 2 meter so now we will be calculating the bending moment for toe and the heel counterforts here you can see the deflection diagram before that as the deflection of the stem will be in this direction 
and the counter fort will be we are providing the counter fort in this direct like this so the moment the it will be bending moment will be acting at this edge and the reinforcement will be provided at this edge of the counter fort for the toe the deflection is upward so the reinforcement will be provided at the bottom of the slab calculation of force for toe and heel counter forts this is the force calculation for toe counter fort as for the toe the base pressure is acting for the design of moment because the deflection is upward so the moment is because of the base pressure so this is the calculated using pressure diagram which is coming out to be 185.02 but we are providing the toe counter forts at a distance of center to center distance of 2.8 meter so the fact the moment is multiplied by 2.8 meter width and the factor is 1.5 for the design of limit state so we are multiplying it 185 into 1.5 into 2.8 which is coming out to be 777.1 same for the shear force shear force is 183.41 which is multiplied with 1.5 and 2.8 which is coming 770.34 force calculation for heel as the deflection of the heel is in this direction so we will be providing the reinforcement at the top of the counter fort so here the bending moment is calculated because of the earth pressure and the live load surcharge so here it is pressure we have calculated here and the force and the eccentricity from the stem and the moment so we have calculated the moment and here also we have provided at a distance of 2.8 center to center so we are multiplying this uh, with the width of 2.8 and the factor 1.5 which is coming out to be 1961 and 681 so we will be designing the heel counter fort for these this moment and uh, this shear force and toe for this moment and the uh, this shear force in the next video we will be discussing about the design of uh, heel slab and toe slab and the design of stem between the counter forts and the hanging reinforcement design Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe my channel if you are in if you like it, really like it. Thank you.